Hey guys, it's Rec here again, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you another feature that many of you struggle with, and it's uh, the PN532. So, how to use this uh, device, this board, uh, with the uh, Stixi Plus and card builder to read and write uh, our FID tags. Uh, we can also use this other one. It's also a PN532, but this one is a Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi hat. So it's just a different shape, but it's a PN532, as you can see here, PN532 module. Okay, I'm gonna be showing this one that is uh, the most common one. So let's start with the connections. So here we have the uh, I2C uh, pins, I squared C. And on this side, we have the SPI pins. So I recommend you to use the I squared C because it's easier to use and you can do the same thing with both. So what you have to do is come to this uh, two switches here and change it. Uh, as showed here. So for I squared C, it's one zero, and for SPI zero one. So here I have one zero, so up and down. It is set up for uh, I squared C. So what I need to do is take a cable like this one. This is the Grove to Dupont. So you can use uh, other cables as well, but this is the easiest one. So uh, the order is the same. So you just put everything here in the order and it's black, red, uh, yellow and white. So you just line up here and look here. So black is ground red is VCC, uh, yellow is SDA, and white is SCL. So after that, you just take the order and here and connect. You can see the light is up, so it is connected. And if I just come here to the RFID and open read tag, it will show an error, RFID module not found. It's because we need to first change the module here. You can see that it's selected uh, RFID2. So you have to come to config RFID module and change to be PN532 on I square C. Okay, now we can come to read tag and just hold it near here in the reader and everything works. Okay, so the uh, other way of using it, just let me show here the same thing on the card pewter. So let me just take this, plug in here, let's turn it on. You can see the light is up. RFID, change the module, and read tag. Okay, so it works on both devices. Um, let me take this off and turn this off and come back to the Stick C Plus. Um, the other way of using this is with the SPI pins here. So to use it, we need to remove the I square C. And let's change the switch here. It needs to be zero and one down up for SPI. And we need a cable like this, a Dupont female to male. Okay, so let's start here. 
So let's use black for ground, white for VCC, this gray here for SS, the slave select, and then we need here the um, yellow and white for Miso and Mozzie, and then the purple one here. Okay. And on the other end, we connect this to the Stixi Plus. And let's start here. So black is ground, ground, gray is G26, here, black's ground, gray is G26, the purple is G0, and the white is 3 volts. So the uh, light is up here. Then we need to come to the configuration. Select the module to be PN532 on SPI. And then open read tag. And the same way, if we hold a tag here, it reads the tag. So I already have a video showing uh, all of the functionalities here, clone, write, save. So it is pretty much the same after you get the, the module connected. The rest is pretty much the same. And once again, if you like, you can use this other one here. Uh, the connection is the same. So you just have to pay attention here to the uh, what each pin means. And you have down here, right? So SCK, MO stands for Mizo, uh, MOSI, MI here is MISO, and the MOSI here is the same as the STA for I squared C, and you have the NSS here is the uh, slave select, and when it's I squared C, it will be the SCL here. Uh, GND is ground, and here is five volts, so you can use uh, those pins here the same way. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.